and welcome to another video and this is our story of going up the South Tower observation deck of the World Trade Center in December 2000 just nine months before the 9-11 attacks. I remember on this December's day flying into New York's LaGuardia Airport and seeing this amazing view of the Twin Towers in Lower Manhattan. It was an absolutely spectacular sight, especially at night. Something I will never ever forget. I just wish we got better video quality. So as the plane turned towards LaGuardia, we got an amazing view again of the Twin Towers from the other side of the East River and as you can see on this video it was absolutely spectacular they certainly were the symbol of New York and who would have thought in nine short months the skyline of Manhattan would be changed forever I'm so glad that we had this opportunity to visit New York and capture the very last footage of the beautiful Twin Towers here in New York's Lower Manhattan. It was always exciting to arrive at the World Trade Center and stare up at these two massive buildings. The area around the World Trade Centers was always busy, bustling with people and traffic. So as we made our way down towards the observation deck, glimpses again of the lower half of the South Tower and glimpsing up to the top was just absolutely awesome. We had been up the South Tower observation deck many times before but every visit was super super excited to uh, visit and see the wonderful views. I remember the little Sam Goody shop here at the bottom of the South Tower and the entrance to the observation deck was just a little bit further down here on the right hand side and we entered the revolving doors and the first thing that you see was these massive windows and the steel columns and I guess we all remember when the towers collapsed this was all that was left of the South Tower. The lobby had beautiful flags and if you remember the ticketing area was a little central round area at the top floor and then you used to go down to the bottom floor to get into the lifts. It was always beautifully dressed, especially at Christmas. So as we headed to the top, the views of southern Manhattan were simply spectacular. There was unobstructed views of Brooklyn Bridge and the East River and all the buildings in Lower Manhattan. And when you gaze down at the cars, they looked so, so tiny, and you could see all the yellow cabs. You could spend hours at the top of the South Tower observation deck, gazing at all the spectacular views of New York City, looking towards the North Tower and its massive aerial and the views north towards Midtown Manhattan were just absolutely views that were untouched. Gazing down to the streets of New York, we would be looking unknowingly at a famous intersection that would become famous with a video of workmen working on the road and witnessing the first plane hit the South Tower. That was right here at this intersection. If you remember, the observation deck you used to be able to step down one step and you could get a full view through the window of all the sites of Manhattan. And here's me sitting there looking at the spectacular views of Manhattan. And who remembers the beautiful cafe of Manhattan's? spent many a times some beautiful food there. We all remember 
when the last tower, the North Tower, fell, seeing the aerial collapse into the floor. And here's the view of that massive aerial atop of the North Tower. The North Tower just looked absolutely huge when you look from the top all the way down to the bottom there. And looked amazing against the New York skyline. We just loved it being at the top, looking all the way down towards the Hudson River here and Jersey City. The World Trade Center gave some fabulous views of Lower Manhattan. After enjoying these spectacular views, looking towards New York Harbor, Statue of Liberty, and Staten Island, it was time then to take the escalator up to the next floor and the open air roof. And this was the most exciting thing to do, 111 floors up on top of the world. The views were just absolutely outstanding. It was always pretty windy up here, but it was certainly well worth coming to the top. Aircraft would always fly pretty close to the World Trade Center, but who would have thought nine months later an aircraft like this would be hitting the South Tower. And as you can see, our very last visit to the World Trade Center was on a beautiful December's morning and you could see the whole city of New York from up here, looking at that wonderful aerial. Me and Mum stopped to gaze briefly over towards the north, looking towards the North Tower and New York City, not realising in nine short months this tower and the North Tower would be collapsing to the ground due to two aircraft hitting the towers and over 3,000 people losing their lives to just such a senseless act. The world was about to change and we did not know it. I always think, were there any terrorists at the World Trade Center when I made the visit, planning their attack? I'm sure the attack had already been planned ready for nine months later. It's a scary thought to think that the people who did this would have visited this beautiful view. And therefore, I will always remember this moment of me and mum at the top of the South Tower, gazing across to beautiful New York City on this spectacular morning. I always remember in the corner at Christmas time there was a Christmas tree where you could get your photograph with Manhattan behind you. Who would have known how 9-11 was about to change the world? It certainly has changed. When we went up the World Trade Center towers here there was no security whatsoever. Since 9-11, the world has dramatically changed. On top of the roof of the South Tower, there was a lovely walkway, a square walkway all the way around the top of the building. And as you could see, there were little areas where you could actually shelter from the, the wind or the rain. It was hard to believe you were standing on top of the two tallest buildings here in New York City and possibly in the world with these fabulous, fabulous views of the whole of New York City. And back down in the indoor observation deck, again a great view of the lovely Cafe Manhattans and the old observation screens here at the observation deck. Beautiful views of the Woolworth building. 
after exiting the observation deck, there was always beautiful displays at Christmas time in the lobby area. And this is something I will always remember. And then of course, those beautiful revolving doors as you left the building. We did not realize this would be the last time that we'd be in the World Trade Center. It was then time to gaze back up to the top of the World Trade Center, looking at those beautiful skies and head around the bottom area of the Twin Towers. Again, it was always bustling with people and there were some beautiful gardens and it was amazing to see how close the buildings were to other buildings next door. I can remember well the plaza area at the bottom of the Twin Towers and this is where the spear was located and the famous words peace on earth. Beautiful gardens and it was amazing to look up at both towers towering above you. You could really get a glimpse of how tall they were. The world's largest bronze sculpture of modern times stood between the Twin Towers on the Austin J. Tobin Plaza of the World Trade Center from 1971 until the 11th of September attacks, known as the Spear. This can still be viewed with all its damage at Ground Zero today. And on the next clip, I'm going to allow you to hear the actual sound and footage of this beautiful area. I'll always remember these words, peace on earth, and how things in nine months were about to change in the world. And again, it was time to gaze up at these two massive towers, each 110 floors high. As we walk further up the street, looking back, they were absolutely huge. Wherever you were in New York there was always wonderful views of the Twin Towers like here in Battery Park and if you took the spectacular ferry over to the Statue of Liberty the views across to these massive buildings were just completely unreal. At that time there was not that many very, very tall buildings in Lower Manhattan, unlike today. I remember staring across at the Twin Towers from Liberty Island, and this what it would have looked like on September the 11th, a beautiful, clear day. You still cannot think why the attack on 9-11 took place on these beautiful buildings and the beautiful city of New York. And nine months later, the skyline of New York would again be changed forever. When taking the ferry back, to Battery Park from Liberty Island, the views of the World Trade Centers by the Statue of Liberty was absolutely stunning. And I remember that picture well. That's a proud moment to be here in the United States and in the free world. The Statue of Liberty and the sign of freedom was about to become an important role in just nine short months, showing how everyone pulled together
to be part and be proud of being in the free world. Arriving at Battery Park would be the last time that would be so close to the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. The view from the top of the Empire State Building looking south towards Lower Manhattan, you could easily see the height of these two beautiful buildings. And here was a spectacular photograph that we took in the sunset of that beautiful evening in December. I'm now going to leave you to enjoy these last beautiful views that we had from the Empire State Building of the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. And let's all remember what happened on 9-11 and all those many innocent people that lost their lives here in New York City, Washington DC and Pennsylvania. We will never forget 9-11. I loved going to the top of the towers. The views from that height are unbelievable and can't be missed. And then afterwards, I always enjoyed sitting at the base for a while, taking in the sheer height of the buildings and looking at the Peace on Earth sign at the message it was giving out. While we were up, at the top of the towers, we always used to have a meal, mostly chips or something like that. The staff there were always so kind to us. And now I often wonder what happened to those very, very pleasant people. Freedom Tower is just spectacular, just look at that, awesome. Hard to believe what actually happened here on that Tuesday morning, September the 11th, 2001. Uh, approach from the north, first of all hit the north tower there, and then the second plane went from this way to the south, struck the south tower. And all that was it, 3,000 people there. The survivor tree behind me there was burnt to a really, really bad during the September the 11th. But they've cared for it, replanted it back in the Memorial Gardens at 2010 and it's now looking really healthy. Okay, so we're looking here at the South Tower. South Tower is the, the first one to have fell here on 9-11. 